Hello there, beautiful souls. Making a quick video for you. Just looking at these cards here. It's not very wonderful news. Because I feel like someone has been doing dark magic on you. It's all like someone has been trying to backstab you or poison you or just injure you behind your back as if there's just they've been coming after you. They've set something, sent, I don't know, demons. But you see this magician, I feel like he was working with dark magic. You know what I mean? But let me just tell you from now, I feel like it is because it's not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. But they're doing this because of some information that you have or who you are. You know, um, I'm going to have to look into this a little bit more to see who you are. But you have some information you know um you you have knowledge and i hear power just now um it's as if they've always been after you i can't the feeling feels like um i don't know as if this energy has always been in your life you know what i mean it's as if they set this trap and it didn't work and they, they uh, hunt you down and set another one and it didn't work. You try another one and it didn't work. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Because I feel like it has been stopped some way, shape or form. And I maybe it's because you came into your wisdom. It's and it's been so fortunate that you've come upon something about yourself, C chosen or crowned, or even your sovereignty. It's as if you claimed or owned your sovereignty, the word itself, just in time. I feel. And then the powers would surround you so you become untouchable anymore. And I feel like your your this whole destiny is changing because you've made it through. Oh lordy. Things are being transformed. It's as if the the whatever the thing that was stuck in your wheels turning, it's going to be evident. A snake. I don't know who it is exactly. This person could be, I've been in your life your entire life. This sounds scary, you know what I mean? But it's almost as if you, it, it, it could be, it could have been a challenge or a test to push you into becoming sovereign or with the word or the knowledge or the power or the truth, something like that. Because I feel like you're chosen, you're an elect being. But I do feel like this. There was this thing stuck in your um your wheel of fortune. How things flow for you. See that snake. There, it is the one that the wheel of fortune also, the magician also has. You know, it's as if it was sent to bite you every time. But I feel like you rose up to become. And I hear a challenge and you passed. So now this snake, this is the last turn of this wheel. As it turns, this snake, it's dead. It's useless now. Its power is down. It's almost like the snake itself wasn't even real. I'm getting the energy of a, it's it turning into a rubber snake, literally. And when the wheels turn, it's going to just fall away. And it's going to become a thing in it just it's going to fall by you. And you're going to look and see that thing falling. You're like, oh, what is that? Oh, a thing falling. It's as if you don't even, you don't even, you're oblivious to what's been going on. I don't know. But you just keep, I don't know if it's because you follow your heart or your guidance, your internal guidance. Well, it, it protects you. Because there's also a protection in your life with the magician energy. Um... You know, if you, if growing up you've had several accidents and so on and so forth, of it as close encounters to really losing my eyes each time and I have all of the scars to show. And sometimes I wonder, no, I'm looking, I wonder why those things happened and who was really what protected me. You know what I mean? 
because there is magic in this world good bad and all of the above right here we see the sun card peeking out and it felt like it's saying a brand new day. It's also feeling like everything is going to be okay. Behind the Wheel of Fortune, we have the death vibration here. Like I'm saying, I feel like this transition, this ending of whatever amount of toxicity and who was after you, I feel like it is done. The moment you own this, so you claim the sword, your sovereignty, your right, your truth, your consciousness, your Christ consciousness, and being crowned here. It's almost like you take the power away from this effing swiggly snake that was sent by even higher a higher person, I don't know, to interfere with your fortune. Yes, because you possessed a lot of information. Maybe you were writing, I don't know, you were sharing it, you were speaking about things that people didn't want you to speak about. They wanted to keep you quiet. Because you, what would happen if you get stung? This look like paralyzation to me or possibly death. You know what I mean? But I do feel like whatever this or these people were planning or doing, it's it's the energy of you know that let me just paint this picture for you someone trying to do something bad in a movie i have to give it to you in a movie like and then it turned this thing that they like this the monster they created yeah turned around and starts to come at them you know that look on their face they're like no you gotta go get it it's her or him and the monster is coming after the creator. That's how I feel with the death card and the magician here. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I feel like this monster is so happy to go after the, the, this magician. I don't know why, honestly. I do feel like it's going to return, even with the Wheel of Fortune, because you're so protective. So gear up, protect yourself, speak words of yourself, be anointed, know yourself who you are. Um, look more into your history, where you're coming from, your roots. Continue reading. Continue keeping your head down. Continue speaking your truth. Don't have fear. It's because it's these things that are really protecting you here. Okay? Look at the magician pointing at the sun. I feel like things will be transformed for you. Honestly, this is how I feel about whatever situation has been going on in your life. It's going to fall away. Maybe you had a business connection with this person or a marriage. Hierophant. Moon card. Pisces. Um, Pisces energy. The card of secrets. Could be a Pisces. I think this person may have wanted you to have a hard time. Maybe to leave, to go away. Maybe to struggle in a sense. Or move back toward them. You have the strength. To undo, to overcome, to get, you are amazing. It's true. Listen, anything like that anyone was trying to do to you, it is, it's just for you to become aware, you know, become aware of the truth of who you are. And why you are targeted and so on and so forth. Self-empowered. Strength. With the strength, you are also the magician. But like I say, I feel like your magic is so much more. It's like the sun's light. It just is. Uh, it's like, so this person is within your energy field. Trying to do something dark in a little corner. But you just, you're just so radiant. Look at you. I feel like just your natural essence, just you, who you are, the the universe work with you, the 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 land, the sunlight, the air, the animals, they love you. So I feel like you don't have to try to conjure up something. So I'm saying just keep being who you are. I feel like this is a message that's coming forward to you just so you know. It's really just so you know. 